Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. The order in which my tutorials are organized on both my website at javacjava.com and my YouTube playlist is designed to maximize learning by building on concepts from prior tutorials. This tutorial is about no modifier, in other words default access, and how it applies to instance variables. I'm going to open up my web browser here to javacjava.com, select menu, Java OOP Tutorials. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the default instance variable tutorial. When no access modifier exists in an instance variable declaration, the following default package private access is granted. Full access is granted to read or change the value of the instance variable from within the same package. Things to think about. Default access instance variables are generally considered to violate the principle of encapsulation. Use careful consideration before declaring a default access instance variable. Okay, let's scroll down here. I like this. Control C to copy. Move our browser off screen. Okay, I've got a shortcut to the command prompt on my desktop, but if you don't, you can create one really quick here by right clicking, selecting new, shortcut, CMD, next, and finish. All right, first thing we do, we'll type in Java C when we open that up there. Java C is a Java compiler, should see all this stuff scroll by. If you get an error message, watch my tutorial on installing the Java development kit. You wanna make sure you get that installed and configured properly before continuing. CLS to clear the screen, CD space backslash to change directories, and backslash tells it to go to the root. I'm gonna make a directory using the MD command called Java. You already have that folder, but if you don't, it'll create it for you. Okay, I change directories to the Java folder, and this is my, um, what I call my working directory. So all of my source code file and my packages will sit, sit underneath this here, this folder here for tutorials. I'm going to make a directory one, and I'm going to change directories to a one folder. So I'm going to have a package called one here too. So I'm going to notepad class one dot Java. And then we'll come up here and we'll paste this stuff in here. So let's go ahead and save this here. So this is package one, and we'll be importing out of everything out of package two here. I have two classes inside of the source code file here, class one and tester. Now down here in class one, I've got an instance variable called one number right here. Hit data type and I'm initializing it to zero. And notice there is no access modifier in front of it, so it has default class access package access, I should say. Um, then I've got a method here, display one number, which will display this string literal, the value of one number equals, and then plus the value of the one number instance variable here. And then up here in tester, I've got the main method entry point. First thing we're going to do is create a CO reference variable of class one object type and set it equal to the reference of a new instance of class one. Then I'm going to use that reference variable CO to directly set the one number value of the instance variable here equal to 111. Then I use the CO reference variable in the dot operator to invoke the display one number method. Okay. Um, Let's go ahead and save this here, because then we're going to be coming to the class 2 thing here. Let's make the code for that. So we'll go up a folder here, down a folder, whatever. I'm going to make a directory here called 2, and change directories to the 2 folder, and notepad class2.java. Okay, I'm going to bring the browser back over here and highlight the package 2 source code. Really, really simple here. Paste that in there. Go file save. So package 2 all right, has class 2 and I made it a public class so we can uh, instantiate it. And I have this instance variable here, 2 number of int data type. And you'll notice it has no access modifier on here. And then down here I've got this public method display 2 number which will display the string literal to the screen, the value of two number equals, and then plus the value of the instance variable two number. Okay, let's come back here. Let's go ahead and uh, make sure I got this saved. Let's compile it and run it. And clear the screen. Java C package one, and we want to compile this here. 
Okay, Java to invoke to run the Java virtual machine, and from the one package we want to invoke the tester method. The value of one number equals one one one. Okay, so we're cool right there. Now um, the next statement here that we want to execute is we want to create. I want to create a uh, ct reference variable of class two object type and set it equal to the reference of a new instance of class two. That should work just fine because. Class 2, of course, is public. So, let's go ahead and compile that. Okay, compiled, no error messages. Now, here's what we get. Now, at this point, I've got a reference variable CT, and I'm going to directly set, try to set the uh, two number instance variable equal to 222. The two number variable up here has no access modifier, so it's default, in other words, package private uh, access. So we should we should error out on this. So let's see what happens here. Um, let's make sure I saved this. I'm making that little change there. Sure enough, we get it. Error: two number is not public in class two. Cannot be accessed from outside package. Right? Okay. So that uh, that works. And bring back over the web browser here. Come back up here. When no access modifier exists in an instance variable declaration, the following default package private access is granted. Full access is granted to read or change the value of the instance variable from within the same package. Okay, so that looks good. We are all good on that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close out of this, close out of that, get rid of that, and leave you with some final thoughts here. So private instance variables are widely considered to be the norm. And yes, I did mean to say private because they are they're the norm. There are many occasions to use a default access instance variable as long as you are fully aware of the ramifications of doing so. That concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.